Hi everybody, uh, welcome to a type of video I don't do very often, which is an unboxing, and I'm only doing an unboxing uh, because the time work sort of time lined up, and I'm very excited uh, for what I have today, so I was like, I will try and do an unboxing. Uh, so what I have is something I've been waiting for for a, a, a few months now, which is a plotter uh a, well i guess they call them just plotters <laughs> and what a plotter is is like a uh let's get that out of what a plotter is is a uh it's like a leather binder uh it's like a it's a ring based leather binder system like i don't know what are the ones that people use filofax or something like that but it's sort of like a mix between like a filofax which is meant to be like a full planner and like an actual notebook um like uh so let's just sort of open this up the box is so big oh god um i took the packaging the like invoice sort of label out okay so uh, there's just a lot of paper here all right i'm gonna grab these so okay so all right the leather binder itself is on the bottom so i'll sort of show you the inserts first uh, or I'll just sort of unbox these inserts here and then I'll grab the binder. Uh, so I'm not using this as a planner um, because I have enough planners. Uh, I, have, <laughs> I have two for next year, if you can believe it. Um, all right, crinkly stuff. Out of the way. Goodbye. All right, let's. I can actually lower this a little bit now the box was so big okay so leather binder um so i'm going to be using this as a notebook it's sort of uh these things can be marketed uh, uh they market them as both a planner and like a product a, a project management sort of system uh so there's all sorts of um there's all sorts of like different papers you can buy like different like paper layouts. Um, let's go ahead and unbox the cover and then I'll get into the paper. And I think that the paper is going to be, even if you're not necessarily interested in another journal system or um, anything like that, I think the paper promises to be pretty interesting for fountain pen users. Um, so, uh, this is the uh, journal I got. They have three sizes. They have like a tiny little narrow size. Uh, they have an A5. And then this one's sort of in the middle. It's something, it's called Bible size, which I guess it's, the plotter is a Japanese company. So I'm guessing Bibles often come in this size in Japan. Um, it's sort of like an A6, but slightly slimmer and slightly taller. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox this. Let's see. This is some ad copy, which is great. Uh, this will tell you a lot of information. Oh, there we go. Actual information that I can read. So here we go. Nice, nice, nice. Bye. Whew. Okay, all right. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so I got the Bible size in, uh, there's three different types of leather. This is the Pueblo leather, which sort of has like a, sort of a finish to it. It's almost like suede -y. This is the beige color, which I'm guessing is sort of like a neutral or sort of like almost like a camel-y color so the big thing about the cool thing about plotter is that yeah it has this sort of leather cover which is nice we all we all love leather right um but the big claim to fame is that 
I'm about to sort of stuff in there, um, is that it is a ring system, but it has very small rings. It's meant to be a very sort of slim notebook. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's sort of been my hang up in terms of using a ring system, um, as sort of a journaling, uh, tool. I like, I have a couple of notebooks, like I have a tool notebook that is not like a clippy ring, but it's like, a, you know, the rings where you sort of pull out the paper and rearrange them and stuff. Very useful for certain, you know, certain projects and things like creative work. Um, but they're just so darn big uh, that it does get in the way of writing it. Uh, my cats are fighting, so thank you, cats. Um, so these rings are very small, so you're not going to fit a whole, you know, a, like a huge amount of stuff in here. It's meant to be very focused. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's really nice, though. Um, it has like this sort of golden bar, uh, sort of, that sort of has the binds. It's, ooh, it's very nice. The... The leather is like really, really sort of smooth, but it has a little bit of a texture to it. Um, Plotter has like all sorts of many, many words about this type of leather, uh, but I don't remember any of them. I'm going to take some of this stuff out. Uh, they have sort of some logo embossing things down here, which is very nice. Um, I'm going to put this to the side though, because I am going to set this up. I'm going to sort of go over all of the, um, the inserts and things that I bought. Cause it's like, it's made by the same, the same company that owns travelers company. So, you know, all sorts of accessories you can get. Um, this is the paper. It comes in ruled. There's a two millimeter grid, uh, which I also got. And then there are blank. The fun thing is because the same company owns Midori and uh, Traveler's Notebook, um, I don't. Uh, you can get um, inserts that are actual like just MD paper, and you can also get um, Oh gosh, I've forgotten the name of it. It starts with a C R, and I believe it has a U in it. But there's a uh, basically like an art paper, like it's good for drawing. Um, Croicus, Kro I don't know. Uh, you've come to the wrong place. I don't draw. My partner does though. Uh, so, anyways, this paper, the plotter paper, is its own thing though. It's different. It's not exactly Midori paper. Uh, and the paper is very, very well priced. And I think in this sort of post Tomoe River world where everyone in there, you know, is just searching for the new thing, um, it is intriguing. So uh, I'm going to open up the other platform i'm going to open up the other sort of inserts too and set it up i promise uh, i'm very excited to do that but before i do that uh some of you might just be interested only in the paper and how it does with fountain pens and so i'm going to do just a little fountain pen test uh to sort of show it off uh and so the the paper inserts sort of come bound together so you can actually sort of just use this as a very basic little notebook by itself that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm just going to flip to the back page here, uh, zoom in a little bit more, and just go ahead and do a little fountain pen test. I have just a couple of fountain pens here. This is my lightning pen. We all know and love the lightning pen, even though <laughs> the lightning didn't do so well in their little opening game, did they? All right. Enough hockey talk. So this uh, pen is... A Franklin Kristoff. It's very, yeah, it's a smooth, it's very smooth paper. Uh, Franklin Kristoff. Model 46. 
XLVI and the ink is Robert Oster Tampa Bay Blue. I put the little plastic inserts over here and I'm just sort of sticking it everywhere. Be gone. My Y Studio pen. Red. <laughs> I don't even know what my cats are fighting over. There's nothing over there that they usually fight over. Ferris Whale Press, Algonquin, Maple. Let's see if I can get test the sheen. How does it sheen? It's, this is uh, my Sailor Texas pen. It's practically empty, but let's see if I can just put a lot of ink on there and see if I can test how the paper shows. Sheen, I super apologize for the shaky camera. All right, I'll let that dry a little bit. I can tell you in terms of um, how the paper feels, it's very smooth to write on. Um, if you're curious about the lines, the line width, I can't really tell, but it's not too wide. It seems like a very good wide, uh, line width. Um, I think it's showing shading fairly well. I don't know how it's doing with sheen yet, but albeit it's not 100% the world's best sheen test. Maybe if I, I'll have to maybe like do an in-depth review of it. My first impressions of the paper, at least, are that it is uh, very, very nice to write on. Uh, and it's and there's no feathering. Let's see if there's any bleeding. Not even really. And I just sort of like jamming my pen in to sort of like do this and there's no really bleeding on that either uh yeah so really really nice okay let's sort of go over oh gosh uh let's sort of go over the rest of the accessories that i got sorry about that uh, the rest of the accessories I bought, and let's just set this up. So I got a lot of paper, um, and most of it's lined paper because uh, the work I'm planning on doing is um, uh, a lot of writing, a lot of writing projects that I'm going to sort of do. Um, so then we have this. The first accessory I got is this thing um it's called a it's called a ring supporter but basically what it does is you're gonna i'm gonna put it over the rings so that way when it closes and you sort of squish them together the rings don't make indents in the leather Simple enough to do, maybe. Okay, I actually have to sort of all right. So yeah, just sort of fit fits on there nicely. Kind of wish they made ones that weren't black, but who cares? 
Uh, it won't really matter once it's all full, will it? Uh, so, the other things they make are these lifters, which are sort of like dividers. Um, I have bought two of them because they have a couple that have sort of special functions. So this is, okay. So this is a lifter. It's sort of like a plastic. Uh, it's not quite like a writing board. It's it's not thick enough to be a pencil board like what you would get with like a Hovenichi. Uh But it is a divider. It has this pretty interesting sort of. Uh, um, what are these time codes? Area co uh, hour codes? Interesting. Uh, and it has this uh, little sort of uh, elastic loop. Um, elastic loop, which will sort of wrap, uh, sort of goes around here and will wrap around the cover to close it, which is nice. I bought, here is a, a second one. This is a second lifter. My understanding is that these lifters go at the front and back to sort of provide a little bit more of a, like a stable surface um, to like your paper. Bye. Uh, this one has a, a, different, um, a different design sort of to it. So, um, Looks like quotes from uh, like Walt Disney, Robert Bryan, John Young. Some words and stuff. Oh, lots of quotes on the back. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to put that at the front. And it has here a leather uh, sort of stitched in leather uh, pen loop. Once everything is in there, I'm going to go ahead and test what, uh, what all fits in there. Uh, and then the, the big sort of thing that I uh, think that they do have planar inserts. And I, like I said, I didn't need those. So this to me is the one of the coolest accessories. This is a project manager refill. And... What there are is, it looks like six of them sort of come into a pack. They're all different colors. And what they are is basically an envelope. You put them in here. Uh, and they open it up and then how to, how to use. Don't need that. I'm going to explain how to use it. Uh, so you can put paper, uh, just individual sheets of paper in here, either sort of floating free form or you can put it in here. You can tell I'm new to rings. Let's go ahead and plug that in there. And so if you have anything sort of um, to uh, use with an individual project, you can keep it organized sort of internally in the notebook here. Uh, now, there are some actual like use cases for, these aren't just blank envelopes. Uh, they have labels for your projects, um, members if you're working on like a multi-team, like a team project. They have a master um, to-do list and I did not buy the inserts that are to-do list but this is actually will show you what they are um, if you if you're interested in, in um, to-do lists they have paper that 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 is that and you basically have the here and the cool thing is they have um, instead of just like a checkbox they have like a percentage of how much you've done right so if you have a task, you can say, oh, I have two, I have 50% of it, 100% of it done, etc." Very sort of useful for um, creative writing tasks. 
or really any sort of project-based tasks. Um, so I've seen a video of someone who has that insert, but they have sort of like took a sheet out of it and will also sort of put it here for, you know, sort of like a master to-do list for a, for a whole project, which is very interesting. The other thing that's sort of on the back of the envelopes, uh, these project manager inserts is this uh, Gantz chart, which uh, I've never used before. I don't know what I, I know the word Gantz chart, but I've never used one. Um, so, however, if you do have a Gantz chart, this is, I mean, a pretty seemingly handy way to organize all of that and sort of keep track of it and use that tool in a way that's not separated from your uh, <laughs> sorry, my cats keep on distracting me, uh, to sort of keep it separated. So for me, uh, the way that I'm going to be setting mine up is basically as a creative writing, uh, my project sort of thing. So I'm going to, I have a few different creative writing projects that I do. And, um, so the way that I would mostly organize these is, um, you know, I would have sort of, I'm probably going to take just some of this paper. Uh, let me just take out some of it. And I probably, uh, I'll probably keep a lot of sort of uh, free foot of just line paper here. And I have a couple of um, projects that I'm going to sort of keep organized by themselves. Let's use that mustard one because it also kind of reminds me a little bit of the beige. Uh, let's keep with the fall theme. Let's use this other, this green one. So I'm gonna probably keep this one in here like so. Take a couple of lined pages for that and you know I'll move those uh, move any more leaf more loose leaf I'm sort of very new to rings very new all right um, and then I was mostly going to use this grid paper um, for uh, any, uh, mostly for sort of like notes, like less, um, less sort of use it because this is a two millimeter grid. So it is, it is, it is tiny. It is a tiny, tiny, tiny grid, um, but it's the same paper. And so, um, for there be times where like I go to sort of like uh, sort of like to take notes about sort of what's written in here uh, usually like written notes numbers things like that and so I don't really want to use lined paper for that so I got grid paper so I'm just gonna go ahead and put just a couple of pieces of grid paper in each of them So open it up like that. I will say like, unlike for instance, a traveler's notebook, which is, um, it has a sort of very svelte design when you first get it, but you can really chunk those bad boys up. Um, you're not going to be chunking a plotter notebook up because you are constrained, constrained, constrained by the size of the rings, which is you know both good and bad depending on what your use case is. For me, I don't necessarily need. Like, when I'm going to be taking this, I'm not going to be taking it 
you know, uh, it's it's laser focused for you know its purpose for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my grid paper here. Close it up. So yeah, so now like if I'm if I'm working on this project, I have just sort of this cover note, uh, this this grid paper where I can sort of write notes, write numbers on it, and I can, uh, you know, I have paper here for either you know the actual writing itself. Uh, you close it. Um, the whole notebook sort of closes like this. And yeah, it maintains it's like really sort of slim profile. Ooh, it's really nice. Uh, I wasn't sure how I would like sort of like the black accents on the beige uh, leather, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Let's see what sort of fins, what sort of fins, what sort of pins fit in this thing. Um, if you're curious also like how many sheets of whatever you can put in here, they suggest 80 sheets of paper. Um, but who knows? Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure this Y Studio pen will fit, but let's see. It is a brand new pen loop, so maybe, maybe it's, oh, this Y Studio pen is a little bit of a chonky boy. It's chonkier than you expect it to be, but no, it fits nicely. All right, Y Studio Pen, we're good. Let's try a Twisby Eco. Oh yeah, Twisby Eco is going. Yeah, and they're just fine. It's sort of bulging a little bit here at the cap, uh, so it is a leather pin loop, so it'll stretch a bit. Um, let's. I don't know. Will this thing fit? That would be crazy. Oh. No? Yeah, it fits. I really sort of jam it in there. I think the leather has to be worked if it's going to fit, you know, something like that. The body sort of is fine, but the cap's sort of really starting to push it. Uh, let's see. How about you, Pilot Customs 823? Uh, pretty easily. Okay. I was worried that this, uh, I was worried that it would be, like, too thin. Uh, that like it'd be like trying to restrict me to like ballpoint land it is like the the caps really are gonna like require like some stretching of this thing um, uh, let's see how about you Lamy 2000 oh okay Lamy 2000 which is probably like a pin that like plotter would want you to put in this thing because you know whereas traveler's company sort of very focuses on like they enjoy their rustique their rustique the uh plotter you can so sort of like tell their styling is they want to be a little bit more i don't know Professional. <laughs> Sorry, plotter. You're coming into the wrong household for that. All right. A diamond 580. Yeah, fits really nicely in there. All right. So that is just actually. That's where did that. Where'd my unscientific pen test go? I'm so disorganized. This is why I don't do unboxings. Sheen, can we see any sheen? Can you see any sheen? I don't think I can, but I think I'm actually gonna need to like do an actual like paper test in order to really sort of do that because I was my 823 has a fine nib on it. Yeah, this is like the worst 
really sort of like not ideal anyways this is what uh so this is an unboxing there it is uh it all together it is whew, very very nice i apologize for do i apologize for being rambly i was rambly um i hope this was useful even though it was rambly i'm going to just really go fill this with more paper and set it uh, finish setting it finish setting it up but i will do one little more flip through uh, so you can just sort of see what sort of product this sort of is. I am, whew, I'm really, really excited. I really enjoy, I really, I think the size is very nice, especially for what I'm going to be using it for. Yes. All right. Thank you for watching, and I will see you hopefully soon. All right. Have a good day. Bye, y'all.